station and override the lockdown from there. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Yeah, we'll take a look. We'll see if we can find those collectibles. That's not a uh, side mission or anything, right? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. Have to find that. You should try. Those reaction times are tough, though. <laughs> Yep, they are. I'm... I think we've only missed two interrupts the entire game. The last one being in the Lair of the Shadow Broker, which was like, seriously, just a second, and that's it. Um... But other than that, I've been pretty quick on hitting stuff. Which way is it? That way. Okay. Let's go up this way. I want to see if we can find those intels. It's definitely the wrong way, but... Can I shoot those things? Ah, oh, it doesn't work. That's definitely some data stuff there. Only missed two. One made Morden kill a guy, the other missed out on Bunning Liara. <laughs> hey man, those were those were definitely worth the reload. Uh oh. Nope, I don't want to get shot at. And you got to see what happens if you don't do those interrupts, so that was probably interesting. Get behind this wall here. We just go back far enough in there. Oh, that one's done. Okay, gotcha. Gotta be careful. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, here we go. Collectible. So there's five of these, there's gonna be four. Data packet has been recovered. Four more remain. Four. Gotta find those, because we got 100%, bros. Gives us a chance to explore all this nice, uh, nice environment here. Probably have to try and find these before we go to that station. Which way is it? Left or right? It's saying left, okay. Back this way. That area seem it seems like they're pretty obvious in where they are. We went over there, went that way, we found one over there, and then on that side. So let's check over here. We just gotta make sure we don't get confused. Analysis. Defenseless herbivores are no match for guided missiles. So I hit a space cow with the hammerhead. I didn't want to kill him. I just wasn't looking where I was going. Enemy units nearby. Just one or two. Oh, there's definitely two. Reload. <laughs> I can't. I can't reload. I mean, I could, but... 
We haven't saved since we left the Vulcan station. But can't save when I'm in this thing. It's fine. We only killed two space cows. Where's the other one at? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. Definitely Cerberus stuff over here. Rogan just says reload. Who knows what re repercussions that cow could have in Mass Effect 3. We're gonna be like, sorry, you don't get the space cow. You don't get the space cow pet because you killed a couple of space cows in Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect... Uh, so GG. Ooh, look at that water. That looks so good. Alright, so we found three. We've got three more to go. Let's see if there's anything to the right over here. Yeah, it's so weird how I can't save when I'm in this thing. That's where we came from. Okay, never mind. So, if I die, if I die, I have no, I no idea where it reloads, probably after Vulcan Station, and then we have to go and find these other, we gotta go back and refine the Intel's thing. We're just over there. Well, it's this way. Secret cow level is a thing. I wouldn't take my chances and reload. <laughs> I think we're fine. So the station is there. Let's go this way. There might be another thing back that way too. Let's see. Wait, is this the right way? Yeah, this might be the right way. So, we're, we're gonna have to turn back then. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn back. So when it's time to go to Prometheus Station, that's where we have to go to. There is a entrance here. Let's see. All right, let's be careful here. Definitely looks like it should open. Okay. Two more remain. That is four out of six. Uh, can I go that way? No, I don't think I can. All right. So, hmm. I wonder if they're all in this area. Like, we haven't checked over there yet. But all that side over there has been cleared, so let's go this way. Base cows. Can I go back over here and save if I wanted to, or is that not a thing? Nope, you can't. You can't go back there. I better find all these things. I'm gonna be upset if we miss one.
Ah, okay, here's one for sure. Hostile activity detected. Uh-oh. There's definitely gonna be one, maybe two over here. Probably just one though. I can hide behind this rock. God, these things are annoying to take down. Especially considering that they go up and down. Back it up. Almost dead, almost dead, one's almost down. That one's down. Okay, this one I should be able to just poke. Anti cheese turrets, says Remington's. Hey man, if I die, I gotta redo all this over again. Screw that. If I could save, I would I wouldn't do it this way, but I can't. The game literally says don't save. We can't leave we can't go to Prometheus Station until we find the, the last Cerberus data piece, which may or may not be over here. Still alive? Oh, it's dead. There better be two over here. Oh, just. Another Cerberus data packet has been recovered. One more remains. Where is it? It has to be out here. For sure, it has to be out here somewhere. Where could it be hiding? Could it be hiding over there by Prometheus Station? So we have checked everything except the Prometheus Station. What's down here? Robert says, by the way, I listened to Watershed in full over the weekend. Awesome. Watershed by Opeth. That album is, like, pretty heavy, man. I think pro probably my favorite song off Watershed is probably either... Um, Air Apparent or... Um, what's another one? Maybe The Lotus Eater. I can't remember. I can't remember what songs are on that. Uh, let's double check. That was the last Opeth album to have Growls on it. Um, Air Apparent and The Lotus Eater are probably my, my two favorite ones. They have some other tracks on there that are like... Um... They've got some like really cool like uh like organs and stuff like that on there. It's a pretty good album. Pretty good. Alright, let's see if we can find this last one before moving on. Air apparent was definitely mine. Awesome, yeah. They're so they're so fast and they're so heavy. Like, I, I wonder what they were thinking when they were making that album, if they were just like, let's just see how fast we can play and how quickly we can sing uh, on all these songs. Some of them are really slow, though. There's some, there's some slower songs on it.
Let's do a quick scan through here and see if there's any more that we missed real fast. So, Remington's the only Opeth albums you listen to are Watershed and um, Ghost Reveries, right? Or have you listened to more? Because if you haven't listened to Blackwater Park, that's probably one of their... One of, one of the fan favorite albums, Blackwater Park. Um, another one might be Still Life. And My Arms, Your Hearse might be pretty good. Those are like some, some early albums. Pretty good. Everything says, I listen a lot to Ghost Reveries on YouTube because it's insane good. Yeah, it is. I listened to Watershed because you said it was great too. Yeah. Blackwater Park, Still Life, and My Arms Rehearse are pretty good albums. Um, My Arms Rehearse and Still Life are like concept albums. So there's kind of like a, an underlying story in all the songs, especially in Still Life. Um, but My Arm, Arms Rehearse is also pretty good. It's definitely an older Opeth album, but it's pretty good. Guys, I might have to look up to see where this last one is, because I don't want to drive around aimlessly. We've already checked most of these. We checked there already. It has to be over here. It has to be over here. Somewhere. And after that, the very first one. Oh, you're talking about um, Orchid? The very first Opeth album? Yeah, Orchid and Morning Rise are the first two Opeth albums, and they're okay. Um. But definitely the later albums are a lot better than, than that. It's interesting to see how they started out though. It was kind of like black metal-ish a little bit. I like to listen to new albums in one sitting, so it's a bit iffy to find the time. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I like to do that too. I like to listen to all my albums in, in one sitting. And Opeth albums are pretty long. Pretty long. Oh my god. I don't want to transition into that station yet. Hang on, let me find let me look this up. Because we might be missing out on this last one, and I don't want to leave here yet. Um Mass Effect Overlord Data Packets. Cause I want to see where the, the last one that we missed was. First packet. Make a sharp right on the wall. Very large cavern. Yep, we've gotten that one. Second packet is uh, the waterfall. Yep, we got that one. Third packet is reach the backside of the waterfall. Turn right. There's another lake and waterfall. But this time, continue past the raft in front of you. I think we have that one too. Fourth, exit this area once again. Follow right hand to go up a path. Cliffside, yep, we've done that one. Fifth. Once again, hugging the wall you came along before. You'll follow the path for a bit until it opens into a wide area. You'll see a natural stone bridge to your right. Pack number five is underneath the bridge that is guarded by two Yimmer mechs. Once you're at the top of the bridge, you can continue coming across heading for Vulcan Station, but you'll see an unguarded platform. So, it is in this area, so we gotta go back then. Okay, so let's go back. Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to find this real quick. 
Yeah, Orchid wasn't spectacular, but it's definitely a really good debut album. Uh, I love doing that, seeing how bands evolve over time. Yeah. Usually if I have... If I'm starting to listen to a band for the first time, I usually go back, see how many albums they, they've done, and start from the beginning and work my way to the mo more recent ones. Um, well, that's been fun. Uh oh, dropping frames. I think we're fine though. I think we're good. Okay, so let me see if I can find where this stone bridge is. And it said there was two uh, Yermer mechs or whatever. I thought we went up this way. Oh, wait a minute. It was through the waterfall, wasn't it? I think we have to go down there. Yeah, okay, all right, here we go. That's why. Whoops. Nope, I'm not dying. Yeah, okay, all right, I see. Oh, I'm hitting the other one. Okay, no bad. I'm cheesing it. Yep, I am, because I don't want to die. Did it, did it. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Sorry if you wanted me to, to go up to the mechs, but I'm not doing that. Another Cerberus data packet has been recovered. All data packets have been recovered. There we go. So where does this go? Oh, okay, I see. You can go down that way. Got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, we're done here. Then we can go start Prometheus Station. Driving so fast. So fast. Robertson says Opeth fans are very vocal about it. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, man, making that. Now, I I didn't get into Opeth till probably like maybe about a year ago. So when they made the transition from Watershed to Heritage, a lot of people hated Heritage. Uh, I'm kind of one of those guys because, I don't know, it's weird for a band to go from like probably like heavy death metal to just sort of like very sort of like chill I don't know there there's some all right songs on heritage but it's definitely the one that I listen to the least um, and they definitely improved that with pale communion and um, sorceress but heritage was like I don't know a lot of people hated hated it Like, I don't mind if, if bands want to change up, but that was a drastic change for a lot of those fans. To me, though, it's like two bands I found instead of one. Good way to look at it. It's pretty much every band I listen to. It's not the same as it used to be, yeah. Pretty much how all metalheads are. It's kind of funny. But I mean, like, I'll give you a prime example of a band that used to be good, but sucks now. Like, terrible music. I'm talking about the Swedish band In Flames. In Flames have been doing it a long, long time. They've done many, many, many albums. They had a period where it was pretty good. Then they had a period where they started getting more melodic. And then, like, the latest album that came out, I think it's called Battles utter trash would not listen 
Like, that band went downhill so quick. So quick that there's uh, a couple of members that have left the band because of it. I don't, I don't know if it's because of the music, but the, the, the direction they've been going in the past, like, four or five albums has been, been not very good. Not very good. Poor In Flames getting no slack. Yeah, I listened to that Battles album, and I, I, it was hard for me to get through it, man. It was, like, very poppy. And it's just generic trash. It's like, did, did they even try? I don't consider myself to be, like, an elitist when it comes to metal music and stuff. But that is, like... Generic as can Come get. On, Shepard. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines used in our experiment. Our people there have gone silent. It's likely the VI has activated the defense shields to keep you out. Good luck. Good luck. Nice. So there's gonna be some Geth over here. They basically invented their own genre. Yeah. Another example of a band that did that is. Linkin Park, man. Linkin Park is interesting because it has... Excuse me while I back back out. Um, Linkin Band has been a band that I've listened to... Linkin Band. Linkin Park has been a band that I've listened to... Throughout my entire life. Um, and the... A couple of tracks that they've released... For their new album in May has been like like pop music it's like this is not the band this is not hybrid theory even the even the the album before that the hunting party that was a good that was a good album um but i don't know man i don't know what they're doing or why they do that there's there's gonna be people that love it there's gonna be people that hate it but It just gets to the point where it's like, yeah, okay, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Where's the Geth Cannon? Oh! Okay, I'm gonna have to focus on this. I don't know how you're supposed to get through this.